What's up, guys? It's May 28th, 2024. Almost, we're pretty much halfway done with the year. Very challenging year so far. Um, Another challenging day. The morning was tough. I did get cut up a little bit. I made it back here. A lot of I got shredded here, but I finished it green. Gave back a little too much here. I lost. I, get, I was up about oh, 30 points, and I gave back 10. So that's not good. I had a limit set right here and I got stomped out. I, I was going to get out here and I saw 72, so I held. And then this happened. I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to talk about where the buyers and sellers are at and uh, leg one, leg two moves and where we are on the daily time frame. I was kind of adamant about selling today because this is a, a high one, usually has more sellers above than buyers below or excuse me, more sellers than buyers above. So this is a high one on the daily chart. And the high one would be kind of in the upper half, upper third of this bar right here on May 23rd bar. Today, is this today's? Yeah, so interesting to see what the daily chart's looking like. Is it a bull flag? Is it a lower high? We haven't touched the EMA in a long time on the daily. 45 minute chart, bears starting to get more bars underneath. Yeah, let's get into it. Try to keep these around nine, ten minutes long. I don't want to take too much of your time. I do appreciate all the support. Thank you again. I drop these every day at the drop at 12 p.m. now. Just because I realize there's so many people from different countries watching this. So it's just a little bit easier for everyone, I think. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how you guys did today. Let's get into it. <clears throat> Gap up. Bar one, good for the bulls, bad for the bears. Not the best for the bulls because it's a weak close above yesterday's high. It's not really closing above yesterday's high. It closed. I mean, it, it, it closed one tick above, I think. The close is 29.50 and the yesterday's high was 29.25. So it did close one tick above. However, bar two, bad. It rallied and sold off and closed in the middle. So we have two range bars. Bar three is a bear bar. It's a trend bar. Bar four is another bar. Bear bar into the EMA. Looks like more selling pressure. Bears put a bar in under the EMA with bar five. However, bad follow through with six and the market starts to go sideways. Immediately, the EMAs are lining up. Bar seven is an outside bar. I actually bought that bar, which I kind of didn't because it's a weak close, but it's an outside bar. I was expecting a test up here. Three pushes down, weak three pushes, no bull bars. Market goes sideways. You might try and get short on bar nine, but then look at the fall through with bar 10. Another bad bar for the bears. The market, the EMAs are lining up. So when the EMAs line up, the market usually goes sideways. It's like a bear flag here. Bar 14. It's like bears try and get the short here. I was short. I was short from bar 13, so I didn't lose too much with bar 15. But yeah, that was pretty annoying to see. I thought the breakdown was coming. I thought this breakdown was going to happen here. Bar 15. Bulls get another leg higher and we pull back. And it becomes a small pullback bull trend. Obviously, it's a very weak one that doesn't last all day. I was uh, long here, and then it sold right off. I was thinking we were going to at least test right there. But yeah, it sold off. So we have a small pullback bull trend. Very hard to trade. Like one, pullback, like two, pullback, like three, pullback, like four. Bar 33 is a, is a really nice bar in the fourth leg. So that could be climactic. And we have a bad close. We closed one tick below the yesterday's high. So yesterday's high was 29.25. This close is 29 even. And this open was 29. So no, that doesn't make sense. What am I trying to say? The high here is 29.25. And this high, oh, it's 29.25. So this is a really nice double top, two bar rejection, double top here. This is a nested double top that led to a several legs lower. Leg one, pull back leg two. That's the second leg trap, right? The market's still sideways here. Bar 51, This I got short here. I think this is a really nice bear flag double top. Low one, pull back, low two. And the bears get a breakout for a leg one, pull back leg two. This becomes climactic. Really nice water. It was really nice to stay selling. You have about 15 minutes to get out here. The market goes sideways. Or excuse me, market rips up into the EMA and then goes sideways. This is where I lost a decent amount of points thinking we were going to get a like a pullback and then a spill into yesterday's low. Or excuse yeah, yesterday's low, that's right. So yeah, 
really nice trend bars we can see when trend, so this is a range bar price action see how it's a lot of overlap and then look at the trend bars open close open close it's all trending away from the open the open trends away close open trends away close really good for the bears however not good close because the bulls pretty much recovered oh <laughs> didn't mean to do that the bulls pretty much recovered the whole thing here so that is not good right they bears failed to get the tag of yesterday's low and so this bull gap is this is actually a bull gap this is bullish pressure right because here's an open gap from yesterday bar six so let's uh get open gap there is still bull or i guess technically the, there's a gap here and the gap here We'll still have there's some bullish pressure. Bears have a gap right here. Market's going sideways. So there are more sellers at highs, buyers at lows. Range bound price action kind of sucks. I hate uh, ranges are tough to trade. The market's been going sideways for a while. Volatility might shrink. Might might sh or let's see. We had an expansion, contraction, so we might have an expansion coming up soon. Hopefully, you know I don't want to force a trend day, but we love trend days. We this, this is what we need every day. Every day. Imagine how many people would start trading if we got these every day. Yeah. Sellers at highs, buyers at lows. I don't trade with any of these boxes on. I just, I'm starting to just try and think more about things like I had this line up today. I had a double top here. And I was watching these legs. They're all asymmetrical. Oh, I did have this as a target with the range from here to here, and that was met right here. So that's why I was pretty quick. I got out on a 62 because it went a little bit overshoot of a measured move. About 24, 25 point range today. Pretty weak. Oh, 33. 33 point range. Not too bad. Hope you guys did good. Let me know how you guys have been trading. Let me know what you guys think of these videos. Trying to just do bar by bar analysis in under 10 minutes. Maybe I might have to make them a little bit longer. Today was a lot of sideways price action. So in sideways price action, it's buyers below, sellers at highs. If you um, new traders should stick to with trend trades. However, if you're good enough, you can scout back into the EMA. I just trade with the trend. I'm trying to stick the longs above, shorts below. To just keep it very simple for now. <clears throat> Hope you guys are doing good. Drop a follow. Let me know if you guys are profitable today. I'm going to be trading um, Wednesday and Thursday. And I'm going to work Friday. And then next week will be four days. So that'll be fun. I can't wait to just have some cash flow so I can start trading five days again. That'll be fun. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. I appreciate all the support. Have a good one. Bye.